Okay guys, so this um, is where I normally film my videos. It's also where I teach my online math classes. And um, one issue is really lighting. So you might, I mean, you can't see it right now, it's off camera, but I have this big, you know what, let's just, let's just get it in the shot here. Um, it's just a big lamp. It's like a big paper lamp. It doesn't fit well here. It's just something I already had. It has the light here as like a diffuser. And I, uh, you know, it, it works well, but it doesn't fit my space very well. I'm hoping that I can get some good lighting uh, without needing that, something that would be smaller that could sit here right on my desk and kind of stay here, maybe one on each speaker, something like that. And so I ordered this. This is a two pack of some little LED lights. And this video is gonna be a unboxing as well as a review. And like basically just trying these out on film and you know, you guys can see how it works and I'll decide if I like them or if I can get a return for them or not. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, let's take a look here. Just a little cheap fold-out cardboard box. Okay, it comes with these different um, filters. Now this is interesting because if I remember right, there was an, a review on Amazon claiming it did not come with the color filters that were listed in the product description. Uh, so this is evidence that at least, uh, you know, mine came with it. So that would be to change the, obviously change the color tone on your lighting. Um, yeah, so the, the idea is these ones are USB powered. These are USB powered. In a uh, other similar products, they plug into the wall. Now I have, I've like maxed out my power strip, but I have extra USB connections on my computer. So that's what I've got here. They've got these little... Uh, threaded screws here to go into the stands. Again, there's two of them in the pack. Okay. <laughs> I can get it out of here. All right, so there's the little collapsible things. Uh, little Ziploc bags with the uh, little mounting deals. Okay, I figured we should also just film some assembly, see how easy it is. I have not read the instructions, so let's see how dummy proof it is. So there's two sets of these, we'll just do one of them. Um, so this seems to be some kind of little uh, mounting head thing. That's probably where they, uh, I'd assume this screws on here and that gets me the different angles I can go at for the lighting. Seems simple enough. And then we've got, a little uh, tripod base. And then we got these deals. So I think that would just screw on here. Uh, there's a soft handle to hold it with. And then there's like, I think this is a wrist strap. So like if, if somebody's holding the lighting, you know, they can have it attached to their wrist uh, and uh, then they have the soft grip. Okay, this is a little bit of uh, motion here. And you can tighten it or loosen it. And then I'm guessing we just screw these together. So that screws on top. Probably should have done this part before I put the actual uh, light on, but it'll work. <laughs> okay, everything feels good. Uh, assembly seems pretty easy. And then you get, again, you've got this ball joint here that can go all sorts of different directions. Uh, you can tighten it up. Uh, it looks like I need to tighten up my uh, light on here. There we go. Yeah, the light feels like it's on there securely. Uh, ball joint. Again, can be tightened or loosened. 
And then you've got this one with this direction. Again, can be tightened, feels firm enough when it's tight. And these can pop out, this uh, goes, yeah, farther than my camera does. So this can go fairly tall. And all right, now let's actually try them out. Okay, figure we should actually uh, show some shots of getting this uh, here. Sorry if my audio is not as good. It's, I've never shot something from this location before. i move the mic in close enough, I guess. Um, anyway, so here it is. It's plugged into a USB port on my computer here to demonstrate. Uh, you get this little power control. So one thing that's a bit disappointing is it would be cool if you could control this from your computer via the USB connection. That does not appear to be the case. You have to control it with this little, uh, uh, well, I wouldn't say remote control because it's wired, but it is a little control button here. You have three buttons. You have up, down, and on and off. Now, if I turn it on, it will default to the brightest setting, which is actually surprisingly bright. This was brighter than I thought it was going to be. Um, now, on the up and down uh, lighting controls, you can either click for 10% increments, because I think it does take 10 to get down to the lowest setting. Uh, you will hear that's a little bit noisy. So you can actually hold them down as I go back up. Notice I can hold it down for a steady increase or decrease. I can do the same thing for down. Again, it defaults when it's plugged into the brightest setting. Now here's something else I noticed. When you turn it off and then back on, it does save your setting. It does save your, your brightness level. But if I unplug the USB connection and then plug it back in and then turn it on, notice it defaults to the brightest setting again. So uh, if you're gonna be plugging these in and out, just be aware that it will not save your last used brightness levels when you're, um, yeah, when you turn it, uh, when you unplug it. It saves it when you turn it on and off, but not when you unplug it. Okay, so I'm going to set up one here and one kind of over here and then look, sit down in my computer setup and we'll do more of like a webcam style feed here and also try to use it with a green screen to see if this gets me enough light on my green screen uh, because that's one of my use cases for it. All right, let's head over to that portion of the video. Okay guys, um, so this is going directly into my camera. In a minute, I'll also try out doing this as a uh, capture card, so it's more like a webcam type of a setup. Uh, but this is going directly into the camera and still at the 4K settings. I currently have no lighting besides the light on in the room that's fairly dim, kind of behind me, and then my computer monitor, and I do have a little bit of LED lights behind my desk, but it's not very well lit face, as you can see. Uh, now, I do have a pretty good camera. I have a video about my camera if you'd like to take a look. Anyway, um, so it, it does pretty well in low light, but here's what we have. Now, let me turn on my light I was using, the big bright uh, light, but that doesn't really fit my space very well. And I have to kind of have it off to the side over here, but it does a pretty good job of lighting my face. Not a real great job of lighting my green screen evenly, but that's a whole other issue. Anyway, um, now let's turn that off again. And now we're gonna try out the light. So I'm turning in on one of the lights, and this is full brightness. These are one of the lights we're reviewing here. And then here's the other one on the other side. Okay, I feel like this is a bit harsh. And um, again, sorry if I'm looking above the camera, I'm looking at the little flip up screen. It feels a bit harsh to me. I liked the look of the other light a bit better. One option is we could try to lower the brightness a bit. So lowering the brightness, I'm doing it with audible clicks so that you guys can kind of see what that gets us. Okay, we're down to the lowest brightness setting and now we'll turn them off. So you can see that even at the lowest brightness setting, they do something. Um, and then we can bring them up slowly so again, that's one more little notch. And again, my camera is set to an auto, some auto settings. So it's gonna try to adjust and balance kind of as we go uh, on all of that. But yeah, I did feel like at the, at the brightest settings, um, it feels like, like I'm a little bit blue and harshly lit, right? <laughs> okay. Now, one thing I was kind of wondering is if actually adding in the little yellow filters would help take away some of that. So let's actually put those in and see how it goes. All right, that is with the yellow filters. Let's give the camera, it does have an auto white balance, so hopefully it's gonna try to adjust for that a little bit. Um, 
anyway, so you, again, you guys are seeing it too. You can be the judge what you think about that. Um, I've heard that yellow lights countering out a bit of the green screen green <laughs> can be can be good. Um, so once again, let's turn these off and then compare it to the old room light that I had. All right, so I can definitely tell that my fa face was lit more evenly on both sides. This has more shadows on my face. Uh, I'm not sure about the overall lighting quality, the color, and I can still play around with that a bit more. Again, with the yellow filters, with the different brightness levels. And I could also, instead of using an auto white balance on my camera, I could get a little more advanced here and set a white balance that I'm happy with or do color correction and editing, that type of a thing. Um, but overall, there's a lot that I like about this. And the main thing is, I just can't keep this gigantic light here in this weird spot. I have it. It's just not something I can live with on a regular basis, whereas these lights uh, can kind of collapse and go behind my computer monitor pretty easily and pop back out when I need them. Let's switch over to using this in my uh, computer as a webcam through a capture card. Now, my capture card is a cheap little $20 uh, capture card that's only going to capture at 1080p 30 frames per second. So the video quality overall is going to be a bit lower here, but let's try it out in that setting and actually using the green screen and see how it does. Okay, so now we're running into my OBS program in my computer and there is a green screen behind me that I have not activated the chroma key on yet. And so um, now we need to kind of test out different lighting sources. Currently there's no light besides the LED lights that are behind my computer and a kind of dim room light. Now I'm gonna turn on the bright light that I've been using. There we go. And then um, we'll try out that compared to the uh, lights that I just purchased and I'm reviewing here. So let's turn those on. Uh, let me turn off the bright one. Okay, so turning on the other lights. Now these still have the yellow filter on them. Okay, so they still have the yellow filter currently and are set to their brightest setting. Yeah, I'm not liking the yellow. <laughs> really not liking the yellow. Let's take the yellows out. Um, well, is, is my white balance adjusting a little better actually? I, I, I left the yellows in. I, I, I think my white balance is starting to adjust to the yellow and it might be taking some of the green tinge off. Um, you know what? Let's actually kick on the green screen here. Ooh. Um, noticing it's a little, uh, a little fuzzy on this shirt. I think the yellow lights might be throwing it for a bit of a loop. So to compare here, let's let's turn these back off. Okay. So that's no lighting. Okay. That's the green screen with no lighting. You know what? It's it's not the green screen effect actually itself is not doing too bad. Uh, <laughs> should I just go with no lighting, guys? Although there's a white, uh, one issue here is if you just look by the monitor, if uh, like there, I just I just closed a window that was white that was open and like it's very apparent when the lighting changes on your face. So that is one issue. Um, all right, let's turn on the big room light again. So this is the one that I've been using. And again, I feel like that does a pretty good job. Uh, it's a little fuzzy on the green screen down here. It's not very evenly lit. A uh, little, little tip on that, a lot of times I use my, my phone, honestly, with the, with the little phone flashlight and kind of prop, uh, prop it up down there to deal with it. Anyway, I'm not going to do that in this video because I want to see if, how these light this anyway. But I might need some lighting behind me on the green screen. Anyway, uh, let's kick on the uh, lights I just purchased, but take out the little yellow filters. Okay, so the little yellow pieces are removed. Let's now kick them on. Let my camera have a second to adjust to that. Okay, I'm definitely lit well. The green screen um, appears to be, from what I can see, there's a tiny bit of fuzz. If I move too much, this might give me a bit of a harsh shadow on the edge there. You can kind of see it right here when I move right here. So a little bit of a shadow issue there. Um, my shirt can get a bit of the reflective uh, of, the, of the green and kind of cause some issues. Not too terrible. Let's turn down the brightness on these lights a bit. All right, does that feel a little bit more natural? I think that might feel a little bit more natural. And I feel like it's actually lighting the green screen better because even though it has less light, um, I feel like it's not casting as harsh of shadows on the green screen. 
Uh, so I think the green screen seems a little bit more evenly lit. Uh, my face seems a little shiny, like it's a little bit harsh. These are diffused. Um, we could turn it down a little bit more. Okay, that's the lowest setting. So I think that's 10%. This would be 20%. Again, the camera needs to adjust for a second. Now, I'm almost feeling right here, about like 20% or so, is actually fairly good lighting. Let's see if I open up a white window on my computer. You can tell the lighting changed. Um, it's not quite as, as dramatic as when there's no, no extra lighting here. Anyway, I'm probably gonna play with these a little bit more to get these settings exactly how I like them. But hopefully this was enough of a review for you guys. Uh, to let you know, you know, what are these things capable of? So they come with a couple little filters. They're powered off the USB connection. Uh, looks like 10% increments on the lighting. They do get pretty bright. Uh, I was a little worried they wouldn't get bright enough. Now it's looking like I need to turn down the brightness settings, at least for my particular use case. Um, things that I would have much preferred would e would be that if, since they're plugged into my computer via a USB connection, I would absolutely love to have a little app on the computer where I could adjust the brightness settings rather than having to find the little, uh, little remote button things and use those. So that would be much, much nicer. Um, you know, the stands are a little flimsy, uh, but I think they'll get the job done. And overall, I think I'm happy with the purchase. I'm just gonna have to play around with the exact lighting conditions. Although where I have it right now uh, seems pretty good. I think just playing with it tiny bit from here uh, to get it just a little bit better might be my overall use case. And again, compared to my big room light, my face is getting, let, I think, ev more evenly on both sides since that was just on one side. So having two of these lets you get the even, even spacing. And, um, yeah, overall, I, I think they're pretty cool. I'm happy with the purchase, and hopefully this review and demonstration was useful to you if you're considering purchasing something similar.